All right, let's do a quick one here on CSS hyphens. So I'm sure you've come across this at some point where the text that you're writing doesn't quite fit inside the box. So I've purposely set the max width to 150 pixels on these two paragraphs that I've got on the page. So then removing spaces, I've made these big long words that don't fit into that space. So there is a hyphen or hyphens property. Uh, there's a couple of prefixed versions for older browsers, WebKit and MS. Three possible values, none, auto, and manual for determining what the browser is supposed to do here. Now, none, obviously you're saying explicitly, do not put hyphens. Don't tr even try to put hyphens into these words. Don't do it automatically. Don't do it if I've added shy hyphens. And that's what these are down here. These are known as shy hyphens. So they're like hints to the browser saying, you know what, if you need to break the word up, this is where you should do it. This is where you should, in the word, add the hyphen. So very easy to add. You just go through and stick them wherever you want. If there's no hyphens required, these things will never appear. So these are called shy hyphens. Um, so we've got none. We're saying even if there is shy hyphens, ignore them. Do not put hyphens inside of here. Uh, auto means the browser is going to do its best to figure out where to put them. And if you have shy hyphens, it will use them. So we can see down here, it added hyphens to try and compress the text as much as possible. Even though I've got none added in this second paragraph, there's no shy hyphens that I've added. These are ones determined by the browser. In the first one, I've inserted shy ones into these big long words that I created in here. So it's using those. Now, manual, if we change that, put all three of these to manual, there we are. Now what we get is, in the second paragraph, nothing has been put inside of here. So the browser didn't even try to break it up, it just threw things onto the next line. It didn't break the words up, it just said, you know what, I don't have room, I'm going to move this word to the next line. Here again, I don't have room, so I'm going to move the word to the next line. But in the first paragraph, where I've inserted these shy hyphens, it's going to manually take the ones that I have manually added and stick them in. Uh, Sort of related to this is the overflow property. Uh, we've got visible, as the which is the default for the overflow property. If I had put none inside of here, or manual, you can see I've got stuff that sticks out because I've said none. Here, it didn't need it. It was able to just throw things onto the next line, but where I do have words that are too big to fit in the space, they are sticking out. Overflow talks about what happens when you've got content that sticks outside of here. So we can do visible, which means obviously it's visible. And if you've got content here, it means it's going to spill out over top of that other content. If I go auto, I get this horrific scroll bar showing up down here, which makes this very unusable. Don't ever do this. Um, scroll is going to add the scroll bars in both directions. You can see on both of them. So that's, again, just a really hideous solution. Don't do this. Um, hidden is the other option that we have here, and that's just going to clip the content off. There's no scroll bars. It just, if it sticks out, it gets cut off. So this was a quick and dirty solution years ago where if you did have content that was sticking out, you said, okay, no, I don't want it to stick out. I'd rather get the word cut off. Somebody can still come in here and click and drag and select the whole thing and then copy and paste it into something to find out what the word is. But I don't want scroll bars. I don't want anything like that. Um, if sticking out doesn't matter to you, you can use visible, but visible combined with auto or manual here Auto is probably your best choice for this. And then add the shy hyphens into your content so it shows up, or the, the hyphens show up where you want them to do, if they're required. All right, so that's CSS hyphens. Hope you've, hopefully you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.